Hi there, I'm Theodore Leaf, and I have some really great tips to show you how to live big in under 1,000 square feet. It is so important that you get all the details right because when you have less space, they all mean so much more. Paint colors can be one of the hardest decisions to make. White is not always right, and the smallest detail of a shade being off can really wreck a room. Start out by picking your paint provider, whoever you like, and buy their fan deck. So the fan deck is basically all the different colors that any different company has, and that way you can walk around the room, put them on a wall, look at them at different times of the day to really make sure that you're feeling comfortable. When you can look at colors at different times, you make a much better decision. So for this space specifically, I went with tones that were a little bit warmer because the way the light was coming in was a little cool and kind of sad to be honest. So I wanted to brighten it up with a bit warmer tones. If you want to up the ante in your space, get dimmers. Dimmers are absolutely essential. You have no control over your light if you don't have a dimmer, and it is so simple. Having dim, gorgeous light just makes a space feel so much more luxurious instantly. Dimmers do not cost a lot of money. This is what it looks like. It's pretty straightforward. And when I moved into this apartment, what I did is I bought a bunch of dimmers and I set them exactly where I wanted them under each light switch. And I brought in an electrician and he just popped them in. It's really efficient, but it just changes the way you live in a space so much. If it's after 6 p.m. and you're entertaining, throwing a party for your friends, you wanna have soft light mixed with candles and all that good stuff. If you're waking up in the morning, you don't wanna be blasted with light. It's so important to be able to have control over your light and dimmers are so easy to deal with, but so many people don't have them. Another detail that people don't think about is your front door. You wanna make it personal, you wanna make it special. Even if you can't paint it, you can do plenty of other things. I like to have a seasonal wreath to brighten the space and welcome my guests. I also have a thing where I name all of the places I live. So right here, we're at Gingham Place, and I got a really fun custom doormat. It's just a really fun way for your guests to know where they're going, and also it just makes you feel like it's your space, even if you're renting. And the best part is, it's not permanent, so you can take it with you. When you're in a small space, I feel like it's really important to think about where am I gonna spend my money? I hire somebody to come in and professionally hang everything when I move in. So the television, the heavy mirrors, the headboard, anything weird or strange where you're just not sure, always invest in a professional. It'll just be so much less heartache and it'll look great. One of the things that's important is area rugs, things you can take with you. They can really change a space without having something be permanent and you can't take it with you. Other things to think about are silver trays, scented candles, fresh flowers. All of those little details will really make your small space feel really luxurious. You can live just as good as if you were at a huge space in under 1,000 square feet. I hope you really like some of these tips. I use them in my apartment and all my small spaces and they really just make it feel like home and cozy and lovely and thinking about the details really changes your perspective of your own space.